one final time, one last ride in Oakland for the Tigers here in the East Bay. It is a sentimental day for the skipper, A.J. Hinch, among others, as the Tigers make their final voyage inside the walls of the Oakland Coliseum. And it's right-hander J.T. Ginn on the mound for the Athletics. And we have talked about the weapon that J.T. Ginn has, and that's that big sinking fastball. 2-2 two -two pitch. First out of the game is a strikeout for J.T. Ginn. <laughs> Pop it up in foul ground it looks to stay playable for Schumann fighting the side and he makes the catch hitting the deck right before the A's bullpen mound again Max Schumann showing off the range not an easy play at all to make and Max Schumann now once again fighting the sun sun's undefeated so that's a tough battle he's able to go into a nice little slide that ball is just scooped off the dirt into center field base hit for Riley Green a two out single just reaching down to touch that ball yeah how about that a change up and Riley just takes this off the ground and just lobs it into center field 2-2 two -two. and it's on the inside corner Ginn gets him looking four batters face just one hit allowed but no runs and that's the most important no score Bo Brisky who's making his 38th appearance and ninth start of 2024 and also the second appearance of this series got the loss on Friday first pitch outside to the dangerous Lawrence Butler Broken bat, it's a roller to second base and a glove scoop by Keith for out number one. So back to back walks, Rooker to second, Plade at first, and Langelier is coming up. Called strike three right on the corner, beautiful pitch, two gone. That's exactly it, just making really good pitches on that outside part of the plate. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll do it for the A's rally in the first, no score. Zach Geloff. First pitch swinging against the new pitcher, Ty Madden, grounds out to start the second inning of a scoreless game. He's now facing the 24-year-old native of Houston, Texas. One and two to Gray, and there a fastball puts him away. Ty Madden's feeling good right out of the bullpen. First pitch, ground ball shortstop. It's Sweeney getting around it, throwing on Schumann, and Ty Madden just needed one hand and one finger to total the number of pitches. Two strikes on Sweeney from Ginn. That ball's drilled by Sweeney. Deep right field. It is gone. Up the staircase for a 1 0 lead. Read the Swedish know the two two power in that bat. But we were talking about that slider. If he executes it, he could be really tough. But that's the happy zone. Change up strike on the outside corner to Jace Young, who popped out his first time up. Fine play by Schumann at third. That's a fair baseball into the right field corner. It goes. It kicks off the sidewall and settles there for Jace Young. So a homer and a double on two strikes in the inning for Tigers rookies. Riley Green just got hit on the front shoulder by again. He'll be awarded first base, two on, two out. I like this matchup with Carpenter. Sure JT do. Ginn. Line drive, center field, down for a base hit. Carey Carpenter comes through, 2 nothing Tigers. Ginn went back to that sinker, and Carey just said, yeah, throw it a little bit higher, and I'll be waiting for it, and just goes out to get it. That's a good piece of hit, and I think the Tigers already are starting to adjust a little bit. Has pulled on the ground, and diving play in the back, on the backhand by Gray, flips to Ginn in time. They make the play, end the inning. So a single for McKinstry, and now here's Sweeney, homered on the steps down the right field line. Fly ball in the air, left center field, long run, Brown and Blade to the wall off the wall. They're going to try it anyway with Torkelson. He does score. Everybody had to hold up. And so Sweeney gets a very long single out of it, but it's 3 nothing. Boy, that ball just kept carrying and carrying and carrying off the bat. It wasn't so sure. Ty Madden is filling up the strike zone. My ball test tells me I'm seeing a very confident young man on the mound. Going up and one down. Left field side. Green going back at the track. Riley Green makes the catch. But man, again, just having to battle that sun. And what a route this is. And leaping up and catching that over the shoulder. Here's Lawrence Butler taking outside for ball one. Lawrence hits nice. it fair on the left field line. That's an 18-game hitting streak. Turning at first and holding with a single. That's awesome. So that is something else, man. 18 straight. First hit for Oakland today is a two-out single in the fifth. 
Runner now going and the pitch is taken and the throw to second is not in time. Law dog does it all right. So Butler steals second. He has not been caught stealing this year by the way. Swing and a miss. The splitter takes him down. How about that having the faith to throw a three and two and get the swing and miss. That's a veteran right there. And now the A's for the first time today have a rally going against the Tigers with runners at second and third. Here's Geloff with the infield back. And Geloff goes that way and drives it into right. That'll bring home one run. They'll hold up Brown at third. And Geloff takes what he's given and puts one on the board for the green and gold. It's three to one. Well, this is the approach that you wanted to see from Zach Geloff. It's been four straight fastballs to this. And it is the cutter for strike three. Swing and a miss. Strike three. It's the splitter. And it was a beaut. How about that finish right there from Ty Madden to get out of that jam? It's Ross Stripling. Surprised that we didn't see Ross yesterday. So Sweeney steals second. Torkelson held it third. And that'll bring up Parker Meadows. Who serves it in the left center. He did it again. All the way to the wall. Parker on the gas pedal. He'll stop at second. It's 5-1 Tigers. Man, what oh man. Good, what a good at bat. He gets that sinker down. And Parker Meadows knows what exactly the speed he's going to get. That's the same same speed as the changeup. Finally got one. Here's Matt Veerling, a right-handed hitter. That's a hit now. The parade continues. Six to one off of this knock from Matt Veerling. And Matt Veerling just goes down and gets a curveball and lashes this into center field. Green at the plate. This is going to make it seven to one. Riley Green's got a base hit to right. Here comes Veerling. This throw is late. Riley into second base. The Tigers are motoring here in the eighth. Another changeup down. Kerry Carpenter. This is another hit to left field. And the Tigers jam band continues to hammer away. It's a Carpenter RBI double, and the horn section has become a boo. <laughs> section and that's just a cutter on the outside part of the plate that just stays right there and Kerry Carpenter not trying to pull it the right hander Grant Holman comes out of the bullpen to work for the athletics and Keith takes fastball up and away ball one this to left field is yet another base hit and Colt Keith gets an RBI Brown drops the ball Carpenter scores and the Tigers have made it nine to one that's five straight hits it is E7 on an RBI single. Bottom of the ninth against Kent Maeda, 9 to 1 Detroit. It's to shortstop. It was the splitter, and that's the ball game. The Tigers with a six run inning in the eighth put away the A's, a series victory, and right there is a three and a half game spread between the Twins and the Tigers heading home. The homestand begins on Tuesday against the Rockies and a very happy flight coming. How about that job by Ty Madden as well as those big that big six run inning but Ty Madden really a great job today on that mountain of bulk innings.